Yes, in our previous two sessions, uh, we talked about uh, procure to pay requisitions and RFQ and quotations. In this third part, I'm going to show you what are the roles required to create purchase order, how to assign the role data access, and how to create a PO, approve the purchase order, and receive the goods into our inventory organization. That's what we are going to discuss. Okay, so let's go for the application first. And uh, we want to assign the role called procurement manager. If you are a procurement manager, you can create a purchase order. Okay, let me log into the applications. Go to security console here. Log in with the uh, implementation user. So procurement manager. Procurement manager is the role name which is required for us to create purchase order. So go for save and close. After that, we have to provide the data access to the user. Go to setup and maintenance here. And go for procurement or financials provide the data access to the user you can choose manage business unit data access for user anyway we, we are going to assign business unit to the user right and choose this username and the role name is so uh, procurement manager business unit and this is our us one PU. After assigning data access, we must run the program LDAP process. Submit lightweight directory access protocol LDAP process. It seems already the program is running. Somebody might have submitted. It's still working. Even if someone has submitted, no issue. That will update our user details also. Let's log out from here. In case if the procurement role manager role is there, purchase orders will get. Go to purchase orders. Go to task list here. Create purchase order. We have different types of uh, purchase orders like standard purchase order, blanket purchase agreement, BPA, contract purchase agreement, CPA, right? So I'm going to create a standard PO here. We can choose supplier name here itself, or we can enter later on. Here we can enter supplier name. Purchase order information enters at four levels, header, lines schedules means shipment and then distribution header level it's a general po number type buyer supplier details terms and conditions line level will specify what are the items we are giving the order how much quantity we are going to give the order so i'm going to give 100 items here and the price is two dollars let's say or five dollars and the location and we are going to have the scheduled tab here
here we can go for enter requested date and promise date at the shipment level. This is very important. Now here we can find which inventory we are giving this order. So we are giving this order to the inventory called 001. So whenever we go for inventory mod, while receiving the goods into inventory, we are supposed to choose this inventory organization, right? So distributions are nothing but accounting transactions. It's automatically created by the system. Let's save this purchase order. What is the PO number? This US164468. That's the PO number. The purchase order has been created. Let's see the approvals. Is it auto approve or any job approval is there or position error? It's auto approval, application development framework. Let's submit this purchase order for approvals. This has been approved. You can also convert your requisition as a purchase order. When I go to process requisitions, and we can search the requisitions which are created by the current user. And then we can go for convert this requisitions as a purchase order from here. We can automatically create the purchase order or RFQ based on the requisition here. Okay. So now we have sent the purchase order. We are waiting for approval, right? Let's search for approval. Manage orders. I'm trying to find out the PO status. It's open means approved. Purchase order has been approved. We can find life cycle of purchase order here. We order the goods to supplier and this is what ordered. But the goods are not shipped to our location. We are not received. We are not delivered into our warehouse. We are not raised an invoice also. Okay. So now we are going to find out the receipt option. So receive these goods into inventory. But if we want to receive the goods into inventory, we must have the permission for warehouse, right? We don't have. We have the permission only for procurement. We don't have the access to inventory right now. Let me assign the inventory roles. We order the goods for 001 inventory, right? So we have to assign the inventory roles and assign the data access for that warehouse or inventory, whatever we are using. Let's go to this username. Security console. Go to security console here. Warehouse manager, warehouse operator, because I would like to check the item quantity before receive. Then we want to receive this goods, inventory manager. Assign the data access to the user. Let's go to FSM environment.
warehouse manager zero one warehouse operator inventory manager Submit LDA process here. Go to initial users and run this LDA process. Fine, it's already running. No issue. Now our employee can access the inventory module also and data access for 001. Now let me check the PO number here. Go to purchase orders. This is our PO number. Now go to navigator still inventory roles are not populated need to wait for some time now we got this uh, go to navigator supply chain execution inventory management it takes some time, maybe five, 10 minutes. Sometimes immediately it will be updated. And we got the permission for which inventory? 001. Before we receive 100 items into our inventory, let's check the item quantity. Okay. So, what is our item name here? One zero two, right? Oracle Linux. That's the description. Going to search the quantity of an item. 30 items we have in our inventory. Okay. Now we are going to receive 100 items from supplier. We already ordered purchase order number also we know. Go to receipts. Go to receipts. Receive expected shipments. Click on this. Receive expected shipments. What is your PO number? Purchase order number. Click search button. Now system is showing that this is inventory. Quantity 100, receive these goods. If we are receiving partial receiving, uh, let's say we are receiving 30 items or 40 initially, we can enter that. Otherwise, we can go for show receipt quantity. Total quantity it will be displaying. I am receiving these goods directly into our sub inventory stores and go for create a receipt. We are going to create a receipt document. So now the receipt is created. Click submit button. This is our receipt number. We have received the goods into our inventory and as well as we mentioned sub inventory. So earlier the quantity of item was 100. Sorry, 30, 30. Now we have received 100 items. So the quantity of 
this item should be 130. Go to manage items here. Select this item name here. Search for quantity. Can find total 130 items. And when we go for receive completed transactions here, review completed transactions today for this item, you can mention the item name also here. What are the transactions happen today? Click search button here. Now we can find purchase order. Through this purchase order, we have received 100 items into our inventory, 001 sub inventory called stores. This is how to purchase the goods from the suppliers with a standard process. So whenever the organizations, whenever the enterprises are trying to purchase the goods from suppliers, they'll be following this particular process, okay? So what is the process here? First requisition, RFQ, quotation, purchase order, and receive the goods into inventory. This is how about the purchasing model. When it comes for account payables here, accounts payables here. It is a financials. After receiving the goods from supplier, we will also receive the bill from the supplier, right? So that we will cover in the next part. In the next part, we will go for cover that particular account payables. Okay. Thank you.